What's up guys, Laidback Gaming here, uh, bringing you a new episode of Forge Tutorials. This actually, uh, I forget the labeling of the, or the title of the video, I know it says Halo Reach Forge Tutorials, um, but again, like this, I'm just putting this on, like I'm just naming it Halo Reach Forge Tutorials just to keep it in this playlist with the Forge Tutorials. Um, it has clearly has nothing to do with Halo Reach at all, um, but I'm just putting it in there uh, for just to be in the playlist and not just be its own separate little video. Uh, but I had a lot of, uh, what I did was, uh, last video, I left a comment saying, if you want me to make a, a video of how I forged in Halo, uh, Halo 3, leave a com or like my, thumbs up my comment. And I got about 40 thumbs up or something like that. So I decided I'd go ahead and make this. Um, so these are maps from Halo 3. I'm really proud to be back on here, kind of, to be honest. I think, I don't remember the last time I was back on Halo 3. It's been a while. So, um, I have a lot of maps that... I actually have a map that was so close to being finished, but I turned away from being finished, and I never did. Uh, where was it at? Um, let's see. Right. I don't know where it was at. Maybe this is it right here. I'll have to show you all that later. Yeah, yeah, because I was going to get on and um, do the tutorial with this, as you can see, because it was made, like, yesterday. Um, but, yeah, I was going to uh, get on and make it with this, and I ended up not doing it. So, um, But, yeah, we'll go ahead and just go to Sandbox, and we'll just go to the normal Sandbox, let that load. Look at my Spartan. Look at that. Beat the campaign on Legendary. I'm a beast. Um, okay. I'm offline, as you can see, so I can't really look at any of my, like, total XP or highest skill and crap like that. Wow, I forgot how slow it took for Halo 3 to load maps. This is kind of ridiculous. Uh, but, yeah, basically, I just wanted to get on real fast. I'm not going to show you, like, a big tutorial, like, how to make a turn or something. But I really just wanted to get on. You'd be like, uh, you know, this is how I forged in Halo 3. You know, show you, show people that didn't, that didn't have Halo 3 that are just now, you know, new to Reach or whatever, and didn't forge in Halo 3, how, you know, forgers back in Halo 3 forged, and what they had to put up with, because, you know, now that Reach came out, and it's just, like, easy merging, you click A, object stays in the air, all that stuff is so easy compared to Halo 3, oh, whoops, uh, compared to Halo 3, it's, it's really simple, uh, so I just want to show you what I had to deal with when I had to forge, and, you know, it'll show you what other forgers had to deal with when they had forge, uh, but anyway, this is the, a map called Sandbox, uh, this was like one of the newer, uh, I think it was the last map pack they made. You have this, uh, the regular four right here. Then below, um, you have a, uh, let me do, okay. You have a, uh, little, uh, thing right here that was actually made strictly for, uh, Griff Ball. Um, as you can tell, it's just a huge box. It was actually made strictly for Griff Ball. Um, but it was really well, really good to forge in. People made a lot of infection maps in there. If I can figure out how to get back up here, all right. So this is a three floor, a three floor map or whatever. There's this floor, and then over here you have a teleporter that will bring you up to the skybox, which is right here. Um, so it was a really cool map. I really enjoyed it. It's, it was definitely the best map to forge on, and still my favorite map to forge on. But we'll go ahead and show you how I forged. Um, Okay, so we'll go down to uh, block double. That was probably my favorite. I like, I love block doubles. Uh, block talls were good, or not block talls. Uh, block huge weren't bad as well. Um, we'll go ahead and forge with block. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and forge this. As you can see already, if you click A on Halo Three, it just drops the object. Halo Reach, you click A, it's it. Oh wow, that must have been a glitch because I don't know how that happened. Wow, that's awesome. But anyway, um, yeah. So if you click A, it just drops the object. You can't control that. Um, but eventually in Halo 3, I think it was towards like the last, I don't know, before, it was about a year before Reach came out, maybe a little less, uh, they found, uh, people found out how to ghost merge and stuff, and they started doing that, so the skill and forging kind of left out, or whatever, I don't know what I'm saying, but anyway, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and put this block right here, and to see, to keep this up in the air, uh, you have to go here, save this new map, which I don't have, crap, well, I'm sorry about this, guys, but I'm gonna have to go and delete a map because I have a hundred maps for some reason. Um, yeah, at Reach you can keep a lot more maps, and Halo Three you can only keep a hundred, so that is a uh, disadvantage of Halo Three. So we'll just go ahead and delete some random map. Uh, uh, cookie Monster, Cookie Monster, Cookie Monster. Uh, I don't know what that is. I'll just delete that. Sorry, BLH, but I'm gonna have to delete your map, buddy. Okay, now let's go back to Sandbox. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I forgot that I had uh, the maximum amount of maps, which is pretty stupid. But yeah, after I show you this quick little tutorial thing or whatever, I will. Um, I'll show you uh, one of Cookie Monster's maps back in Halo 3. Uh, he's definitely gotten a lot better, and I'll also show you one of my maps that I'm thinking about remaking. I am thinking about remaking one of my maps in Halo 3. 
therefore that's why I'm going to show you. Uh, but we're going to take this, flip it down just so it's straight, and just bring it right up. And we'll put it right here. How about that? And to keep to get this to stay in the air, what you have to do is you have to click uh, save as new map. Save as new map. Uh, yeah, save as new map or save changes, whatever. Uh, sandbox I one is fine with me. Here we go, saving variant. Then you go over in the game, and then you have to restart the game. So just imagine how frustrating this is to the people that had to do this. It's pretty ridiculous. Um, looking back. At Halo 3, I really I have no clue how I made the maps that I did, how I you know did the stuff I did in general, like with Forge and everything like that. I don't even know how I hardly could move around an object because I don't know. I guess if I if I had the time to get back into forging, I could do it. But it's just it's really it's really um it's really crazy to look back at forging and and Halo 3 and see you know how how you know crazy and hard it is to do compared to. Uh, Compared to Reach now, uh, but we'll go down here and get a. I usually, I usually here. I'll, I'll use a uh, block here, just fine. Um, but what you do is you have to get this, put this to get objects merged together. Um, first, we'll put this right here. We'll make like a. Uh, we won't make it go up. We'll just make like a flat little turn or something. So we'll put this object right here. Uh, to where it's underneath it and just click save changes I agree yes override um, so you can already tell um, this is gonna get really oh whoops I did not mean to do that well I'll have to do it again now see so if you make a mistake like that you have to do it again it just gets really annoying um, save changes whoops save changes oh, I'm already getting frustrated I don't know if you can tell but I'm already pretty frustrated with this uh, so just imagine doing this say you have you know I don't know 500 pieces in your track which I don't even know if you could if you can put that much many pieces in your track, uh, but say you have like 200 pieces, you have to save and end the game 200 times. Actually, take it back more than 200 times because you know setting up other objects and other things like that. That you probably for 200 objects, you probably have to save and end the game like 400 times. Um, so just imagine that it's insane. Like I think my custom games, uh, which includes Forge, I think my custom games uh, number for Halo 3 is like 10,000. I think I've played 10,000 custom games or something like that. It's something insane. Okay, well, this is this wasn't put on right, but whatever. We can just make like a slight hill or something. I don't know. Uh, so to get objects lined up, because of course uh, you're to merge objects, you can't just see them. You can't just push them in there. So what you did in Halo 3 uh, was you put respawn points on the corners of each block, which I'm doing right now. So you put a respawn point there. Uh, then you put a respawn point on this corner right here. So we'll do that right now. Um, all right. Then you take this X twice. Uh, you'll take uh, or whoops. Uh, you'll take this, put it to 180. Put place to start no, and then you will start a new round. Round over. And then uh, that block will disappear when we uh, when we start this next round. The block will be gone, and you can um, put a block inside of it. Well, you can put a block where it was at, and then um, when it comes back, it'll be merged or whatever. So. Uh, it's fairly, it's not too hard to understand, it's pretty easy to understand, which I don't even know, uh, <laughs> I mean, this is uh, this is kind of just a video to, you know, show you how people forge in Halo 3, because I'm, I'm assuming that nobody is going to go back to Halo 3 and try to forge or anything like that. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but uh, I'm assuming nobody's going to try to get forging tips from me to go back and forge in Halo 3. <laughs> uh, but, okay, so we'll, we'll make it a little slight turn going uphill or something. Uh, so, you're going to take this and... You're gonna line it up, and you're just gonna drop it. Make sure it's lined up. So that's lined up pretty well. That's lined up too. So it's gonna be a slight turn. You'll take this, click X twice, five on the, uh, and then there you go. So that's that's how it's merged. So we'll go ahead and do another one. We'll make this go up just a little bit too. Not too much. Uh, just about right there. Right there should be good. Or whoops. Yeah, right there. So we'll just click Save Changes. Overwrite, yes. Saving Variant. Go up, in game. There you go. So you can just tell that th how long is it taking me to do that? It's taking me like three minutes just to do two blocks. Um, so you know, a whole track with turns, hills, all that stuff is just gonna take forever. Uh, I can't remember. I mean, it took me forever to make maps. I don't know how I made them as fast as I did. Uh, I feel like I guess I just spent multiple hours of my life just forging. Uh, I, I really don't know, because uh, I, I remember making maps so fast. I would make maps, um, 
in probably like three days on here. And looking at how the forging was, I have no clue how I did that, and I'm amazed that I could that I could do that. Um, so, uh, but I mean, I guess that you know if it's what you're used to, because in Reach, you know, I'm so used to the forge, I can make a map in a day if I really wanted to. Um, I, I could uh, send or yeah, synthetic on uh, on Reach was made in huh uh, yeah it was made in about two days so if I really want to I can do it but uh, I have to have that dedication and that drive to do so um, so when you if you have this if you have your runtime uh, minimum of five or whatever the this number is uh, they will instantly respond even if they say you know place to start no and respond rate uh, 180. Uh, so you want to make sure that that is off when you're trying to merge those together. So quick start new round. Um, this will be the lost, the lost, uh, the last block I show. Um, I'll show you how to put. The, I'll put this block in, and then I'll you know let you see it and all that stuff. And then I'll show you uh, a couple of the maps on uh, Halo 3. I'll show you one of Cookie Monster's maps. Um, a lot of y'all know Cookie Monster from Pro Forge Racing. And then I'll show you one of my maps as well that I'm thinking about uh, actually uh, remaking. Uh, and then if I have anybody else's uh, maps that's on reach that are on reach any forgers that are on reach right now then I'll show you their maps as well um, so we'll put this last block in make it turn a little bit whoops um, here we go put it about right there um, so it's not too hard once you get used to it of course you're gonna whoops and that's that's the problem with uh, with uh, picking the objects up and stuff and you have to get them in the right place which is really annoying sometimes if you don't get them in the right place on the spawn point um, I remember how I would I can't even count the number of times that I just got completely pissed off with uh, with forging on Halo 3 um, but okay so we place that runtime minimum put it at 6 they all spawn and there's your slight little incline with a terrible first incline but uh you can see how that's how you merged objects. So just imagine, you know, Halo 3 Forgers having to do this constantly. Uh, it sucked, and uh, but you know we still made good maps, and uh, it was still enjoyable. And uh, I'm not bashing Reach Forging at all because I love Reach Forging, but I just feel like for some reason I feel like Halo 3 Forging uh, was just was just better. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Like, not saying better is in like it was easier and it was more, f but I just think it was more fun to do for some reason. Uh, I guess I don't know exactly what it is. Uh, I guess I'm just an idiot, but in my opinion, I just I just enjoyed Halo 3 forging better. Uh, maybe it's because it was more challenging and it wasn't just simple and just completely given to you. But I'm not really sure. Uh, but we'll go ahead and go to uh, this is Cookie Monster's map, his 15th racetrack with a drift turn, jump, a large elevator, and some scenery. Awesome. Let's check it out. Um, <laughs> yeah, so this is Cookie Monster's map from Halo 3. He made, I think, like 25 racetracks in Halo 3. I can't even count how many he made. He made so many. Oh, yeah, one good thing about Halo 3 is the mongooses, uh, in my opinion, are much faster, uh, which is awesome. Uh, so this is his 15th racetrack. Um, it's pretty well made, as you can tell, actually. I'm surprised. No, I'm joking, Cookie Monster. You're a good forger. <laughs> Yeah, uh, he actually, uh, thank him guys, by the way, because he's the one that actually got me into making the, oh no, Cookie Monster, that's that's uncalled for, you cannot have that in your map. Um, anyway, he's the one that actually got me into making videos again, because uh, I made videos back in like 2000, early 2010, and then I kind of, or wait, late 2009, I kind of quit, um, and I just didn't make anything. And then he uh, sent me multiple messages saying, hey, make a video for my maps, make a video for my maps, make a video for my maps. So eventually, okay, Cookie, I'm getting kind of mad with the map, man. You gotta step it up. Anyway, so eventually I made a map, I've made a video for maps. I think this was like the first video I made, or the first video he asked me to make. So I started making videos for his maps, and here I am now, uh, making videos a lot now. Um, so... Yeah, thank him. He's the one that really motivated me and got me back into making videos and stuff. So that's Cookie Monster's 15th racetrack. He did a really good job. Um, yeah, so, and then this next map I'll show you. Uh, we're at 14 minutes right now. It's not too bad. Um, I'm not going to make it go over 20 minutes because I know y'all hate me and probably won't want to watch another video again. Um, but anyway, here's the map that I'm thinking about remaking. Of course, I already have a map named Synthetic um, on Reach uh, because I, did, I didn't think about, you know, remaking this map. But... Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking about remaking it. Uh, yeah, this is uh, my map right here. Uh, this was my second or third to last map I made. I think this was my, let's see, um, I think this was my fifth map on Reach. Or, I mean, three, Halo 3, fifth map, I think. 
Um, you can see I've got this awesome banked wave there. I was so proud of making that banked wave. Uh, but yeah, we'll go ahead and drive it real fast. I'm not sure how long it is. I think it's. I really don't know, and I'm not gonna. I don't really feel like counting to be honest. Um, but uh, it's yeah. I think this was my fifth map. Not on. Not on. Not fifth map total. But um, this was my fifth map on Sandbox, and I think my tenth map in Halo 3. Uh, so tenth map I've ever made. I think I'm not for sure about that because there were some. There have been maps that I made that I didn't keep because they suck so bad. Um, I'll show you one of the. I'll show you my. I can show you. I'm not sure what number it is. I think it was my third merged map. Third or yeah, I think it was my third merged map ever in Halo. Uh, after I learned how to how to merge objects, I think it, this uh, the map. It's on Foundry. I think it was my uh, yeah. I think it was my third merge map. But yeah, here's the map that I'm thinking about remaking. So if you think I should remake it, leave a comment about it, and I'll consider doing it. Uh, it's a pretty good map. I've got this here, so you can't cheat because players could just roll off right there and just jump on. Uh, but yeah, so it's a good map. Uh, we'll go and end the game there, and uh, we'll look around. I'm gonna see if I have any other forges that are on Reach. Um, if I do, then I'll look at their maps. If not, then I can guess I can go to uh, Foundry and find my other maps. So let's see, Cookie Monster, Cookie Monster, Derek. I remember him. Uh, it's kind of cool, you know, going back and seeing all these forges. He was like one of my spectacular raw. He was probably one of my uh, favorite forgers. Uh, he was up there uh, with one of my favorite. Rogue Shadow was also one of my favorite right there. He was a great forger. Uh, so yeah, none of these forgers are on Halo Reach right now. So we'll go to here, and I've got so many maps on Foundry. It's I don't know what's not okay. Yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, Envious. This was my a race track made by, with seven mongooses. Try it out. It's really cool. What a description. Look at that. Early 2009, I made this. Oh wow. So this was I think this was my third. No, no, second map that I ever merged on. Um, and it's actually not bad. I was actually impressed with uh, how well I merged uh, for my second map to merge uh, objects in. I did pretty well. But, uh, you know, really, there was, uh, I, like, searched hard and tried to figure out different, uh, you know, tactics of what to do and stuff. And, you know, how to make how to make maps better. And all this other stuff. I was really into racetracks back then, uh, making them and stuff. I wasn't into videos yet because I didn't think about making videos until until sandbox came out and when sandbox came out then i started getting like okay you know I, I wouldn't mind making a video for a map of mine or something and that's when i started making videos or whatever um so yeah this is i don't know why i'm spawning here it shows you that i did not put any spawn points this is my i think second and uh, yeah I, I don't know what it was about uh fusion coils but for some reason i like fusion coils and i put them all here um but yeah, here's my, I think, second merge map. It's not bad. I'm actually impressed with it, and I loved it. Um, whoops, I can't drive. Okay. Uh, I mean, just look at this talent right here. Just raw talent. I did a great job, I think. Uh, yeah, this thing was like, what, two turns in the whole map, and somehow I did a barrel roll. Um, I don't know what the heck that was. And I'm going to do a barrel roll again. Can I please get on the mongoose? Okay, there we go. Finally. Um, okay, the funniest thing about this map is at the very end I have shield doors, you know, because you, you just say you don't cheat. Uh, but the reason I made shield doors, uh, I mean not shield doors, uh, teleporters. The reason I made these teleporters was because I saw a bunch of other maps with teleporters at the end. So, I, and I had no clue what they were for. So I was like, okay, I'll make a teleporter at the end. You know, that's, everybody else is putting teleporters at the end. Why can't I make a teleporter at the end? I didn't know that, you know, it was like put a checkpoint at the end and teleporters were there so you couldn't cheat. So, uh, yeah. Like, I think my first five maps, I just put teleporters in there because everybody else put teleporters in there. And I thought that's what you were supposed to do in racetracks, so that's what I did. Um, but, of course, uh, that's not what they're for. I don't even know where this leads. Oh. Am I still alive? Haha. -ha. Um, yeah, I guess this was, like, some stack map. I'm going to try to... I guess I'll just kill myself. If I can. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so I made this... I didn't know what the heck the teleporters were supposed to be for. I just put them there. Uh, shows you how dumb I am. So, uh, yeah. So the people that are new to forging, um, if you think you're bad, you know it doesn't matter because I was pretty bad when I started. I wish I could show you my first map, first few maps I've ever made because they were probably uh, um, worse than any other submission that I've had uh, map-wise. So um, everybody else there out there, you know, sending me maps and stuff. Y'all are all great forgers. Uh, you, I mean, you might not think you're a good forger, but trust me, you were better when I than when I started. I promise. I was. I was pretty pitiful when I started. Uh, oh, wait, let me see if there's any... Uh, no, I was going to see if there's any Halo Reach for forgers on here, and there's not, which sucks. But anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. 
uh, this you know was just a kind of a little video to show you how you know Halo 3 was back in the day and how we forged and stuff like that uh, so you know um, if you liked the video and you thought it was cool please like and favorite the video it really does help a lot uh, if you want to see more videos like this, uh, well, not, of course not Halo 3, but uh, Halo Reach 4 tutorials in general, uh, you know, that'll teach you how to make a good racetrack, then uh, go check out my channel, Laidback Gaming. I've got a playlist uh, with a bunch of different 4 tutorials that I'll continue to add to and continue making more 4 tutorials. Uh, 4 tutorials, can't talk. But anyway, again, guys, if you liked the video, please, uh, you know, like and favorite it again. And uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, be sure to subscribe.